सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास थ्री हेलो चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्कूल बिकॉज ऑफ करोना बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट वी कॉन्ट लर्न एट होम इज एंड इट आई एम योर फ्रेंड कल्पना एंड टूडे we are going to do some activities play some games and learn some new things i hope you are ready for this adventure hmm look around you what do you see what time of the day is it is it night when the moon lights up the sky is it evening when The sun says goodbye. Is it noon when the sun makes everyone sweaty or is it morning when everyone is busy? Yes, it is morning. And we all can list out things which remind us every day that it is time to wake up. Imagine the chirping of birds. as they leave their nests in the search of food the choo choo sound of train as it carries the passengers to their destination honking of horns and elders at home doing their morning rituals milkman coming to house or people going to the milk booth people chatting in the streets and mornings just like this very busy and everyone is full of energy it is morning and since all the elders are busy you and i are going to have fun today we are going to read about a child who likes waking up early in the morning but Do you like to wake up early in the morning too? The child in our poem has some secrets for those who don't like waking up early in the morning. So, take out your book Marigold and go to page number 1 and there you will find a poem titled Good Morning. If you don't have the book, you can listen to the poem as well. Here we go. Good morning. And if you like the mornings too, like the child in the poem does, listen to this poem carefully. Hello friends. Hello. Hello. Do you say good morning in the morning when you meet your friends, teachers and anyone on your way? Yes, yes we, we do. do. <laughs> Come on. Let's all say good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good, good morning. morning. Here are some of our friends who say good morning in their own way. And all of them like songs very much. First let me sing for you and then we will sing together okay okay One day I saw a downy duck with
What a lovely poem. And the child in the poem has wished good morning to so many friends of her. Let's recall how many friends she has. We have sky, sun and little winds. We also have birds, trees, creeping grass and brownie bees. Isn't it amazing that she has so many friends? I know many of you miss your friends at school, but don't worry, we will be back to school very soon. Till then, we can learn as well as have fun together. And hey, it looks like we have some new words here. Let's talk about them. Our first word is creeping. And it comes in the line and creeping grass and brownie bees. The word creeping means to grow or to slowly move along any surface or ground. In our poem, we have creeping grass. We have some other plants that grow along the ground like the pumpkin plant. But here we can see it as the slow movement of grass because of the wind. And that's why we have creeping grass. But what is brownie bee? I know about color brown, but brownie? Oh, now I get it. I'm sure many of you have another name at home that is used by people who are close to you and you might have such names for others as well. Like if your name is Mansi, people at home call you Manu. Or if your name is Priyanshu, your family uses the name Penku for you. Let's say brownies like that as well. Can you make a list of such names? Well, that one is going to be a fun activity. Moving on, our next word is awake. And I'm sure many of you must have heard this word before. It means when you stop sleeping or you wake up after sleep. As you can see, the child in the poem uses the line, I'm wide awake, which means she was sleeping earlier but is not sleeping anymore or 
is awake now since it is morning and we also have gone away which is used when something or someone is not in a place where it was earlier or we can say that the person or thing has disappeared like the child in the poem says the line where the night had gone away here she means that when she woke up the night wasn't there anymore and that means that night had left that place for some time but i think the night will come back don't you so we got to learn about gone away creeping and awake oh i just noticed something our friend in the poem uses good morning to wish everyone and i was wondering what she says when it is noon yes most of you guessed it right it is good afternoon can you think of some words which are used to wish good morning in your language if you can't think of anything at the moment you can later discuss it with your elders as well i can think of some in other languages like we say shubh prabhat in hindi for good morning many people use namaskar namaste as well in kannada we say shubhodaya to wish good morning do talk to your elders about wishing good morning in your language and use it with others now for our next activity we need to listen to the poem very carefully once again so here we have our poem and then we will talk about our activity pay attention to the sounds good morning good morning sky good morning sun good morning little winds that run good morning birds good morning trees and creeping grass and brownie bees how did you find out it was day who told you night had gone away i'm wide awake i am up now too i'll be right out to play with you as i mentioned earlier that we will be talking about sounds for this activity so it is time to look at sounds today we are going to talk about rhyming words these words end with the same sounds but remember that they can be written differently let's look at an example to understand it better listen to the sounds at the end of the following words carefully and repeat after me snow go no i'm going to say the words once again and you have to repeat them after me here we go snow go no when we write snow it is written as s n o w but when we speak the word snow it has an o sound at the end snow all these words end with o sound therefore we can say that they rhyme snow go no all have o sound at the end in the poem also we have some rhyming words all you need to do is pay attention to the sounds we have three words and we want to find rhyming words for them from our poem listen carefully to the sounds at the end because 
sounds are important our first word is bees it appears in the line and creeping grass and brownie bees and we can see it ends with is sound bees can you think of another word in the poem that has the same sound at the end many of you must have discovered the word and yes it is trees bees trees bees trees our next word is day with a sound at the end and it comes in the line how did you find out it was day another word with a sound at the end is yes it is away day away day away i hope you are paying attention to the sounds for our last word we have two now can you think of a word which ends with the same sound as two i'm sure many of you must have found the word already it is the word you which ends with letter u when we write it but the word has sound u at the end when we speak it so children now you can have fun with words too and i also have some words for you think of some words which rhyme with them and remember that sounds are important you can write these words in your notebooks so that you don't forget about them the words are right leaf sky shoe i'm going to repeat the words once again in case any of you missed them the first time right leaf sky shoe aren't sounds fun in today's poem we talked about a child who loves mornings but i forgot to ask something what do you like about mornings i will go first i like to wake up and see the sunrise i also like mornings because i like going for morning walk in the park now can you think of something which makes you like the mornings you can write about these things which you like to do in the morning in your notebook or if you don't have your notebook you can write them with pencil in your textbook as well in today's class we learned so many new things it's time for me to go but before i go there is an activity which i have for you you can do it at home our poem was about morning and as we know morning comes after night for this activity you will draw a picture of what you see around during the day and another picture of what you see at night after drawing the pictures name any two things from each picture as well i hope you enjoyed our activities as much as i did have fun and don't forget about the sounds good day hello friends hello, hello. do you 
say good morning in the morning when you meet your friends, teachers and anyone on your way? Yes, yes we, we do. do. <laughs> Come on, let's all say good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Here are some of our friends who say good morning in their own way. And all of them like songs very much. First, let me sing for you and then we will sing together. Okay? Okay. okay. So friends, you were just listening to the series Dhwani Shala, production assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta, recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo, produced by Ajit Horo. This series was brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.